and welcome to Roma. We made it here from Positano and I'm so excited because we only have like literally 24 hours in this city but it was one of our favorites when we did the cruise last year so we wanted to come back and experience it more. And one of the questions that I get asked a lot is what I film with. So I am filming this vlog on the Canon G7X Mark II and it's not gonna be a technical review but I just wanted to show you guys how easy it is to use. Neil got me a little like Joby pod so I can just like kind of like pop it out of my pocket and hold it on like a nice little stick. Um, if you don't know what a Joby pod is, it's like like a baby tripod. So um, we are going to just be sharing, you know, how great the autofocus is and just how easy it is to use. Again, I am like not a technical person. That's all Neil. So he got me this little point and shoot that I could just do my vlogs a lot easier. <laughs> He's Hi, always guys. got like the huge, you know, yeah. heavy cameras. So I love it and I can kind of show you guys around and kind of have like more of FaceTime because I felt like the vlogs were just more of what was going on around. So it's just nice that I can like talk to you guys and have that in the vlogs. So I hope you guys will enjoy this and enjoy the video. Of course, we're gonna have some B-roll from this beautiful creature right here, yes. but you can do awesome slow-mo on this and yeah, it's just great. Like if you just wanna go on a trip and you wanna get some nice video on it, awesome camera so we are going to show you guys around Roma so first up we're gonna go to the Trevi Fountain Always wake up early for the Trevi Fountain. So packed. Gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful. So we found a good spot and then it all got crowded again. So amazing. Honestly, you can't even believe like the gorgeous architecture and the handwork that goes into all this stuff. It's crazy. So we just left the Trevi Fountain. It was packed. We yeah. wanted to get there way earlier, but we kind of had some hotel drama. Our toilet didn't work last night, so just fun, 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 real travel stuff that happens when, yeah. <laughs> when you're traveling. So that kind of delayed us this morning, but now we are walking over to the Coliseum, and what I really love is the autofocus. So like I'm going under bridges right now, um, and I'm going from like dark light to harsher light like this, and then I'm going into <laughs> more shade, and it does a great job at the autofocus. And Neil can attest because he uses some serious, serious gear when we do vlogs yeah. um, and videos. So if there's a little like pocket camera like this that can do pretty much the same thing, yeah. it's a thumbs up. Honestly, right? I, especially because it just looks, sometimes when you're out in public, you just don't want to pull out a big camera. No. It just looks like... It's a little obtrusive. Yeah, a little obtrusive, <laughs> especially like at restaurants. People start looking at you. So something small like this is just... Perfect. Exactly. So another thing I love is that you can just zoom right in on the camera. You don't have to get another lens. It's literally just the lens that it comes with. It's not one of those ones that you can tune to lens. So you can just zoom like you would any other point and shoot digital camera. And that's pretty handy when you know you don't have the time to switch out lenses to get closer or anything like that. And you can just whoop, zoom right in. Look at this beautiful church. Look at this live music on the way to the Coliseum. Jamming out. And I see it from right here. Look, we're going there. Well, we're not going to that guy, but we're going there. <laughs> All right, we made it to the Coliseum. We did it last year, but we really wanted to get this shot. Yes. And if you want to get the most amazing shot, look where my feet are dangling right here. It's kind of scary. But there's like a little street here, and then you can sit up here and get the best view of the Coliseum in the background. And it is so gorgeous. Like, you can't even believe that this stuff was created so many years ago. It blows my mind. And you 
I mean, it's still standing in good condition. There's like, no big deal. Just created thousands of years ago. Nuts. We're back and I am sweaty. My hair is going crazy out here, but we did a long walk from the Coliseum back to our hotel area here and we are stopping at Ginger for lunch because I heard that it is awesome. And if you can see, there's a lot of people waiting. So we have like a 15 minute wait and then we're gonna go inside and they just have like healthy food here, smoothies, acai bowls, that kind of stuff. Mixing it up from all the pasta and pizza and all that stuff. So it'll be nice to just kind of recharge, rest our feet. I'm not wearing, I never wear the right shoes because I'm here to take pictures. But my feet are killing me. Neil's got the right idea. He's got his fans. <laughs> They're not the most comfortable either. But way better than mine. So yes. it'll be nice to rest our feet. And Neil's also carrying this crazy big backpack yes. with all his camera gear. Uh -huh. So props to him I for. Know. I wouldn't recommend it. It's just, <laughs> I would have left some of the stuff back, but you need lenses and you need photos. And it's all that go. stuff. So, it's the dedication you have. It's the dedication that matters. <laughs> probably about five minutes before going in, so we'll catch you guys inside. Let's go. Finally, lunch time. Manja, manja. So I ordered a smoothie here because they have an amazing smoothie bar over there, if you can see. And this one is called Martinique, and it's basically like an anti-stress uh, smoothie. And it's just stressful traveling, you know? <laughs> but you gotta get that. You gotta get that in your stomach. So um, I think there's like acai, mango, pineapple, my nail fell off, oops. Um, and orange in here. So it's all my favorite things. And now I'm gonna gobble this up before we enjoy some lunch. And here's our lunch. Some ravioli. Neil got rigatoni. Carbonera. Oh. Yum. yum. Yum, yum, yum. All right. Let's watch how this just totally goes missing. So we just walked into Don Nino. <laughs> right by the Spanish steps. And look, 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 look. I love the melon flavor. So I'm gonna get that. And how cute is this place? All these adorable chocolates. Oh, Italian bakeries and sweets are just the best. got melon and pistachio. Neil always gets pistachio and I got melon. It was so yummy. And now we're gonna go and see the busy Spanish steps which were nice and empty earlier but now they're packed. But, now they're but packed. you gotta pick what you're gonna go to first. <laughs> so we wanted to go to Trevi first and get that. Yes. Anyways, I'm gonna enjoy this gelato before it melts. Yes. And meet you on the steps. Right there. Dior's right there. That's a good man. He knows exactly where the Prada is, the Dior. Don't hit a policeman. Don't here. don't bump into a policeman. But I know you like Dior. Got I told him to find me the shops. Valentino back there. I need the shops. I need the fashions. Okay. Fortunately, no photos are happening here. Clearly, these are the Spanish steps. The very busy Spanish They're steps. They're very busy. <laughs> we have to sit on them. Yes. Hey. Fortunately, no photos. No ice cream, please. No ice cream here. So. No ice cream. Here. <laughs> No gelato on the steps. Oh my gosh, look at how busy. But this is my street. We have Dior, we have Gucci, we have Prada. All of the fun stuff on this street. But clearly everyone else is a fan too. Oh, look how busy it is. This is literally in the middle of the afternoon, but if you come in June or July, I imagine that this place is crammed and slammed like sardines. Just talking about how you're gonna take me to the Chanel store I'm and buy me a you. bag today. I'm not guaranteeing a bag, I'll tell you that. He's gonna buy me a bag. This vlog Listen, you gotta title that kind of stuff for anniversaries. Be, it's like, our second anniversary in yeah, July. In July. Oh, it's our 10 year dating anniversary. So that is a really <laughs> big deal. Okay. That is actually a pretty big deal. So yeah. 
I think it should happen. Well, I can't give all the secrets away. I think it should happen. Between me and the vlog fam here. Something might if, go down. If my dream bag is here, will you let me get it? Um, I don't know. Flip a coin, maybe. Flip a coin? Flip a coin. Neil got them to close the store just for me. Just for me, the I store is closed. Calls. Yeah. That's pretty convenient. That's pretty crazy. Well, it says that there's one at Piazza di Spagna. So we're going. We're going, we're going I don't to know that. What that is. I have no idea. <laughs> you will figure okay. it out. We'll figure it out. So we're back at the room to change because my shoes suck. And I wanted to give you a little room tour. So we're staying at the Grand Hotel Plaza. And look at these pretty windows here. So you have a cute street view out here. This man is playing music. Look how cute he is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so cute. People are having lunch out there. It's adorable. I love having the window. And then, over here, some nice Italian marble. Hello. Pretty. And that's how the room tour concludes. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys in a minute. All right, so while Steph is getting ready, I thought I'd take you through a few of the specs on this camera, uh, more of the tech technical review, um, and so let's talk about it. So we're filming on 24 frames per second. This camera can do that slow-mo, which is that 60 frames per second, 1080p. It isn't your cinematic slow-mo per se, and I probably wouldn't use this for cinematic production. Uh, this is still a very good camera to take on vacations. But a few of the things that I really love uh, on this camera, again, are the autofocus that Steph has mentioned already. It's got that uh, touch screen, so I can actually focus right now on myself, and then there's Steph, and focus in the background, wave. There we go, and now I can touch back on my face, and there I'm in focus again. So this is really, really cool. The G7X Mark II falls into the, the premium digital cameras that are on the market right now, and it's still very good enough that you can fit it into your pocket. Uh, as for the zoom, it's a 4.2 zoom, so I believe that's a 24 to 100 uh, range that you can capture, which is really awesome, because you can stick your hand out kind of like this and make it your selfie style, but you can still zoom in enough on that patio right there while keeping it in focus. So it's very handy for that vlog style as well as that zoom in quality. So you've got that 20.1 megapixel camera. It's got Wi-Fi on it so you can airdrop, or not airdrop, so you can drop your photos that you take on your uh, camera onto your phone or any other device. And yeah, it's really convenient, easy to work with, and uh, we're loving it. So let's head out, let's try that 60 frames per second, show you guys what that kind of looks like. And uh, I'm sure some of you are wondering, how photos look on this as well. So yeah, we're gonna try some of those. those. Yeah, mm -hmm. so we'll catch you guys outside. Let's go. Shot a little 60 frames per second slow mo there. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I love slow mo. I yeah. love your slow mo in videos. Yeah, that honestly. Hair flip, girl. Gotta get the hair flip. Gotta so, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna show you how the images look. So, we're gonna take a shot right here behind us and show you how uh, that looks in raw and then also uh, post, which is he'll edited. Put his preset on. Yeah. One of these days, he'll sell his presets. One day. I'm telling you, I'm like, maybe. Sets for I people. don't know. I don't know if they're that good to sell, but uh, we're gonna show you the image in raw and then edit it after. So check this out. So I hope you guys enjoyed those. I love like pulling out this camera for photos for Instagram like that because sometimes you don't want to just take photos on the SLR. It's like so yeah. heavy and clunky to bring along. So you can just bring this along, but it's just a little bit better quality than your iPhone yeah. or your Android, whatever it is. So consider that. 
Look what I found, Neil. Yeah. He thought that he got away with it. Listen. Do I think that I'm going to buy a Chanel today? No, I don't. No. If I leave with one, will I be happy? Yes, I will. But I'm just gonna go look. A ball for your happiness. Looky, looky. I'm just a realist, you know? A realist. He's like, Steph, we could get a lens for this. We could go on vacation with this. Yes. I'm like, yeah, but I could have a Chanel. <laughs> It's just for fun. We're just going for fun. Yeah, no no whatever deal. makes it happen. We're gonna go and see what they got. While we're waiting in line at Chanel, um, I thought I would talk about the sound feature yeah. on this camera. So Neil, what do you think? Yeah, I think it picks it up pretty well. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't have uh, a jack for you to put in a external mic. External mic, yeah, yeah, exactly. So something like a Rode Video Mic Pro that kind of sits on our DSLR. Unfortunately, you can't do that on the Canon G7X Mark II, but you have uh, DIYs, I've seen some. Uh, if some of you know Casey Neistat on YouTube, I think he's got a tutorial on how to put like a little bit of a dead cap right at the top of the mic. Kind of sits like right about here. And uh, that actually solves that wind issue sometimes that you hear on some of these cameras or on your phone when the wind is blowing and your video just does not sound good. So I know that's really important to vlogging. Uh, audio's probably right up at the top as well as picture quality sometimes it actually takes the cake uh, audio being better than your picture quality so but I think this is a really good job and I'm really really impressed so um, it's good yeah. Listen, it is much better than having to deal with a clunky like this thing plus a mic is just yeah honestly this looks like you just look like a whole show it's really you look like a show when you're out so it's fine when we're filming you for YouTube yes. in the home that kind of stuff or like talking I guess when we're like on a beach but not for when you just want to stand in line at Chanel. No. no. Yep. Absolutely not. <laughs> Look at the smirk on his face. They didn't have my bag. They didn't. So maybe it's a good thing. Yeah. It's a good thing that it's sold out everywhere, but... It wasn't meant to be. It's still fun to look at the fashion, you know. It actually inspires me more here than back at home where all I want to do is like sit in sweatpants and not get dressed up, but... I like getting dressed up when I'm here in Europe. Everyone's so stylish. All right, so that is the end of the vlog, guys. I hope you enjoyed our little mini review of this yeah. camera. So who's this camera for? I would definitely say it is for people like me who are amateur vloggers <laughs> who just want to take, you know, a camera that's easy to pop in your purse and yes. go if you're doing kind of like more behind the scenes things. If you just want to take it with you on your travels, it's a great family uh, camera. So yeah, I would definitely recommend it if you want to just like take some nice photos with your family on vacation or get some nice yeah. videos and memories. Um, it is on the higher end of the point and shoot digital cameras, but I would definitely say it is well worth it. Definitely something that we're going to be using in more vlogs to come and I have just enjoyed it because I can have more FaceTime with you guys rather yeah. than killing my arm trying to <laughs> carry that thing. So again, this is the Canon G7X Mark II. Mark yeah. II. This is 1080 and again, it's not 4K, but there again aren't a lot of platforms that support 4K right now. Um, so this is still a very good camera and should be for many years still to come. Of course, you can always upgrade as you go, but uh, I guess another one of the questions is uh, why Canon? And I guess it really comes down to uh, personal preference. We've always shot Canon, uh, yeah. and I just personally love the color science, the dynamic range. I think the autofocus is uh, just right up at the top uh, among all the other cameras. Uh, they just, Canon really just stands out with autofocus and specifically skin tones and color science. So that's why we really love Canon and went with this guy. All right, so I hope that you enjoyed this review and this little mini vlog of Roma. Yes. And let me know if you guys end up getting it or if you have any other camera questions down below. Neil can definitely help you out yeah, as well in the absolutely. comments. And we will see you in the next one. So be sure to like this video, comment down below, subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Ciao. Ciao, guys. Thank you.